How do you define influencer? Influencer, all right. Well, when I started 10 years ago, we were actually referred to as bloggers. Mm -hmm. um, I had a traditional blog I just started when I transferred from, FI from Wisconsin to FIT, and I actually started as a street style photographer. So now it's completely transitioned, and we sort of have di disrupted the fashion industry, and we're influencers now. So, it, so basically, as I mentioned, though, you influence the culture, what we buy, what we... Yes. You know, you're a human commercial. In Essentially, way. it's it's almost like I compare it to a billboard in Times Square, but way more targeted <laughs> and a demographic that you really know what you're paying for when you choose to work with an influencer. Now you dropped out of college to pursue this. I did. What did your parents say? Your family? They they questioned it, but I, I actually <laughs> <laughs> both my brothers went to Michigan and they graduated with their full degrees. And so when I wanted to drop out of college to pursue this as a career, I put this whole presentation together to say why I should do it, what my business plan was, and if I couldn't succeed by a certain amount of time, then I would go back to school. So right now you get paid between ten thousand and twenty thousand dollars just to post on your social. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. Break it down to me, how does it work? Do you contact the brand or do they contact you? How does this work? It's changed over the years. Uh, it used to be that we would do all the outreach, but now most of it is incoming. I have an agent that I work with and a team that we have all the incoming emails and then we filter through them and decide which collaborations we want to pursue and which brands we want to work with. And it's, it's a very collaborative process. And so I'm involved with everything from the content creation, the creative direction, which products we're promoting, how we're going to promote it, how I'm going to speak to my followers about it. And, you know, based on what the brand wants to sell, we work together for that. So what was your first item that you were paid to? You remember? Ooh, 10 years ago. Oh, wow. It must have been time. something with Macy's because they were my first sort of big partnership with their in-house brand called Bar 3. Now, going back again, just, I'm just trying to understand. So you're just starting out and you yes. decide, you approach the first company and say, I can bring you, do you build your followers first and then go to the company? It happened sort of at the same time. So when I created my blog, it was really just a hobby. And so as I grew, my followers grew and we started working with brands. I would pull items to borrow and then send them back after I would shoot it. And once I, once I was able to show them the analytics behind my post and here's the conversion rate and here's how many sales that you got from it and the brand would see a certain amount of follower growth and I was able to sort of use that as proof of concept to charge for that. Wow, and so you go in with your numbers and say, this is what I can bring to the table Exactly. Here. Is it, is it, do you feel pressure? I mean, obviously people see these things as short-lived. I reject that notion because I still say Kim Kardashian was the original influencer and she just <laughs> sold two bazillion millions of her new, she did, uh, yes. her new, I get, they're not Spanx because that's a different brand. Skims. But, yeah, skims, skims, skims yeah. but no, I mean, it's an underwear basically to suck mm -hmm. everything in that we want to hide. But, yes. but she's done very well with that. Is this a short-lived game though? I mean, I've been doing this for 10 years and I'm only 27. And so I think, no, I think my followers, A, are growing up with me. B, uh -huh. I, I turn down jobs all the time in order to remain authentic in what I'm promoting and the product that I'm saying to my followers, you should buy this. So I won't promote anything that I don't personally believe in, wear, or use. So let's say a new skincare brand reaches out to me. I'll try the product for at least a month before choosing to work with them. Really? So you're, you're not just taking the money and pushing it out No, and there are so many other influencers that do do that, and that's what almost gives us a bad name. But if you yeah. remain authentic, you learn how to say no in the right way, then you will have longevity in your career.